Hi and welcome back. Today, James chapter 5 and verse 14 and it reads, Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And so the instructions given to a person who is suffering, uh, it says here in verse 13, let him pray. We were there a few days ago and it says, anyone cheerful, let him sing psalms. But now it goes on to a person, what does one do when they are sick? Uh, you know, there's very clear instructions here. It says, let him, who's the him? The, that's the person that is ill. That's the person that's not faring too well. The instruction is given to them to call for the elders of the church, the presbytery, the, the, the eldership, those that are mature uh, in the things of God and uh, are recognized uh, as such so as well. And so it says to call them and that is to, to summon them to come and to do something. So what are they supposed to do? And so it goes on to say here, uh, call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. And so this is the first thing. Now this prayer, this process and uh, practice of prayer has come up again. And it says, so let them pray over him. And it goes on to say, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, you know, we, we sen seem to think maybe that this uh, practice of anointing people with oil is, is mainly just in the book of James chapter 5 because uh, it's really clearly identified uh, as a process that we as New Testament believers are supposed to do. And we are, and that is the right way to do. But what if I was to say to you, uh, Jesus himself, when he sent uh, the disciples out two by two, he sent them out to preach the gospel, and he also uh, had taught them to anoint the sick with oil. So why don't you turn with me, if you have your Bibles there, in the book of Mark, chapter 6, and it, uh, verse 12, and it says here, and this is after Jesus had sent them out two by two, and it says, so they went out and preached that people should repent. So obviously the gospel message was preached first, and so there was uh, a great strong message of salvation that was being preached, an awareness that there is a, a saviour, and uh, we know that that is one of the most, the most powerful messages ever to be preached on planet earth, that man is in need of a saviour. And so it says this, so they went out and preached that people should repent. Look at verse 13 of Mark chapter 6, and it says, and they cast out many demons, and so the power of God, like this uh, authority that Jesus had invested in them was uh, working, it, it was evident, it was working, and uh, cast out many demons, and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. And so we see the process there that even the disciples, when they went out, sent two by two, they were anointing the sick with oil, and it says, and healed them. And so there is a, a real uh, spiritual principle to people uh, anointing others with oil in the name of the Lord. And so tomorrow I want to continue more down these lines to just open it up a bit more. What is so important? What's, why is this so powerful? Uh, the principle of it that obviously that it says here in, in verse 14, verse 13 of Mark chapter 6 that the people were healed. Uh, you know, uh, the way that I see this, that there was authority given to them, uh, that they were casting out demons they were preaching the gospel. People were turning to God. And um, obviously there were an element or a group of people that were sick that were advised and instructed to anoint with oil. And it says, and they were healed. You know, my initial thoughts are that wouldn't that authority uh, on that person's life, that delegated authority, be enough to heal? Well, see, these are some of the things that we need to look at in the coming days. But the fact is that when they anointed the sick with oil, it said here that they were healed. Now we need to remember, this is well before the cross of Calvary. And that's a, a point uh, well worth considering. And so anyway, join me tomorrow. We're going to continue on verse 14 of James chapter 5. Amen. So have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.